Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the founder of this show did spend a week at the Nickelodeon Hotel in Florida. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Mail time! Camera flip! It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today, we are doing some of your guys, and also one of my favorite series of all time, and that is opening some mail from the beautiful people just like you. So all these boxes you see here before you, we have one, two, three, and one big one over here, meaning four, came from beautiful, amazing people just like you. And we went into our vault here, because we have so much fan mail that's been coming in that it takes us some time to get through some of it. But what we did, is we went back there, and we found one or two new ones, we found two of the oldest ones we could find in there and that's what we're gonna be doing for the fan mail as well is trying to grab some of the oldest ones we can find by looking by the dates they were sent because us trying to like remember where things were placed is too hard because the fan mail room is just so loaded up that it gets lost with so many boxes being cardboard and looking fairly similar so I can't wait to get into it so without any further ado if you guys are new to the fan mail series we don't know what's gonna be in these packages it's usually the stuff that we love on this show whether it be Nickelodeon Cartoon Network Disney nostalgia fun and anything in between so I can't wait to see what we're gonna be getting ourselves into today let's go ahead and sit on down I gotta get a knife of unboxing and let's check it all out <laughs> all right so the unboxing knife is here let's go ahead and start with this one from Terry and Evan Terry and Evan Hill are amazing members we have a little monument they made to Steven Hillenburg still here in the cavern as well as a few other items that were made by Terry as well too like for example that reptar bar over there that clay reptar bar was made by Terry and Evan they do some incredible work a father and son duo that I love so much and have so much appreciation for their relationship and also their shared interest in watching comfort cartoons. That's, I think, me. <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so thoughtful as always, Terry and Evan. Again, it is Valentine's Day theme, so expect to see some Valentine's Day stuff that's a little off where we're at right now in, in life and time. Not too far away. <laughs> it's not, not like too far months. now, but it's it was last Valentine's Day, so let's get into it. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. It's Terry and Evan Hill. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I love sending you new things in because it teaches my family good values of life, but it means much, much more to us as well. I can do new art with my son, and my family gets to see a great show with things we made. That's so true. It's absolutely awesome, and we love featuring the stuff that you guys make. You guys do an incredible job. And much love to you and Terry and Marjorie, your whole family. Much love this holiday season, and thank you guys so much. Okay, so this is a... Ooh, yo! Yo Gabba Ooh. Gabba! This is the playset for Yo Gabba Gabba! That is brilliant! So you have DJ Lance Rock right here who is essentially the host. This is his blaster here, his music blaster. And when he opens it up, you actually get to see the world of Yo Gabba Gabba, including all the figures for the characters as well. That's super cool. Yeah, and they actually, it's like, a, it has all the different set designs too. So you have like the mountain area, you have like the green hills they typically hang out in, you have like a forest, and then also an icy terrain. Look! There's a picture of the set right there that is so awesome so they made literally a miniature version of the set that you see right here so you flip that around look at how good of a reference that is an amazing like i don't even think yo gabba gabba has a play set like that they should have made one that was like a square box it looks like dj lance rocks radio that you unfold and it turns into the four different areas with like miniature figures of them that'd be sweet that is Awesome, amazing work. Oh, and we've got Warning. Oh, he is no. doing the thing. <laughs> we had a drawing by Evan doing the thing. <laughs> of course he is. Why would he ever not be doing it? And we have a new one for him. Oh, please. We have Patrick from Valentine's Day. So you know, iconically, Patrick's Valentine's Day uh, tantrum. We got Spongebob with his best friend outside of Patrick, Gary, very adorable as well. And then we have some candy in here too. Ooh, we have the Krabby Patty Valentine's Day theme one. I don't think we have one of these in the collection. So. And they're your favorite. Yeah, oh, it's all blue, you're right. <laughs> Literally the dream sickle here. It's all of the blue Krabby Patties, the superior, supreme Krabby Patty. So we have one, and we also have one with the uh, the oh. cherry. So the cherry Krabby Patty as well. Oh wait, they have all of them. No There's way. also grape. That's it. And also the green apple one. Ooh, 
<gasps> oh my gosh. Please tell me these aren't expired because these sound so good. Are those confetti? They're confetti kisses. That's the only kind of kiss I want. Oh my goodness. What is the expiration date? They may have expired. I don't know yet, but these look so good. Oh, and then here we have another pack right here as well. And then we have three, count them, three Krabby Patties as well. Three Krabby Patty containers. Thank you so much. And some more Hershey's Kisses. Those are good. Yeah, they are. I'm going to be like Dora's backpack. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Oh my goodness. Another brilliant design by the amazing and wonderful Terry and Evan Hill. We have the Whoa. Krusty Krab kissing booth. That is sick. What I'm telling you, they always make such awesome stuff. So we have right here the kissing booth with Sandy right there sitting up there all adorable. And of course, who would start this Many. whole foundation? Mr. Krabs. Amazing. On the side, you have the Krabby Patty right there there as well too. You got Patrick over here on this side. Spongebob and Patrick are hanging out there on the sides. Just brilliant as always with Terry and Evan. I love the little details on top here with the hearts, a little rose up there. I, I, I would stop by this kissing booth for sure to pick up some Krabby Patties. That'd be so sick to have at your school and like all the kids come by and you know, you're handing out your Valentine's things and just yeah. like pass to go through there. <laughs> exactly. Oh and then we have this awesome Ooh. Spongebob pencil case yeah. here. This is another crazy item. I don't know how Terry and Evan find some of these things because I've never seen this before we have the pencil pouch here and it's got the awesome pineapple aesthetic That's so adorable yeah but with spongebob's face throughout it this is beautiful so cute too it almost looks like it fit like some glasses or something if you wanted to yeah for sure okay so next up here we have the valentine's Ooh. day patties i needed these ah I needed those. We have the X and O ones, but we don't have the heart-shaped ones. That is so awesome. I actually wanted these more than the X and O ones because they're the heart ones. And now we got them, the heart-shaped sliders. And it's so cute on the box here. It has SBSP and it has Patrick as well. And it has Gary on one and it says BFF and they have all these different hearts throughout it, the heart-shaped candy that you get in like elementary school. Very adorable. I would take this over those heart-shaped chalk candies any day, any day. <gasps> this is the greatest thing I've seen in my life. Daisy Whoa. the mail dog. She has her own mailbox. That is so freaking cute. And it has a little heart-shaped machine that you can put with it, a little candy dispenser as well. That is so cool. Dang. That is honestly the easiest way to impress me more than anything. You can make me a cardboard cutout and I'll be hyped, but you make Daisy a cardboard cutout and that, that just makes my whole year. <laughs> that is so freaking Freaking cute. I love Daisy so much, so it's always cool to see her get represented in the fan mail. That's so creative, too. Yeah, there's something inside of here, too. Ooh. What do we got in there? Ooh, some Smarties, some heart shaped Smarties. And a little happy of Valentine. Aw, oh, that's so cute. And it says Terry and Evan to King Reptar. <laughs> so, so cute. Cool. That, that was their mail to you. Yeah, we have some Tic Tacs, too. <laughs> oh, you could probably put that in the little heart thing and it'd come out pretty good. That's smart idea or the smarties. That's, smarties. that's a smart idea as well. Smarty idea. So you can put either of these in there and that'll come out of the dispenser. I think you had bad breath. <laughs> yeah, both of those things are likely. <laughs> but we have the heart string lights too here. So these are lights you can actually put some batteries in and they glow in heart shapes. And then we have a bag here. So let's make some room here so we can check out the bag as well. So this bag is filled with all types of goodies. So let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> That's so cool. We have a Hannah Montana foam sticker lot. So you have a bunch of Hannah Montana stickers on it. That is so like new old stock. Like where did they even find this at? She's got the limo out front. Ooh, oh, oh. got every style, every shoe, every color. Even though it's the same shoe in both these. Yeah. <laughs> And then we have a, oh my goodness, we have a Flintstones card. We have a Scooby-Doo card. Does it say, I love you? What does it say? Hey, Valentine's Day. I hope yours is filled with treats. Have a happy one. That's and you have the sandwiches right here too. Oh, that pizza looks so good. Oh yeah, heart-shaped pepperonis. That's how you know you love somebody. <laughs> That's how you know your heartburn is imminent. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one says, is the bedrock of our happy marriage. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. That is so cute. So we have the two Hanna-Barbera ones there. 
We have the I Am Ready jumbo size sticker. We have the SpongeBob sticker pad here with multiple different stickers available. He's gotta be doing his thing, I swear. I love these ones right here. These give Ooh. me like total like 2000s vibes. The many faces of SpongeBob. You can put these on your keyboard. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be sticky. <laughs> and then you have the different shots. He's not doing the thing. Oh, he's just angry. But he's just he's saying, oh, please, still for sure. This one says, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we have the other giant sticker for SpongeBob here. Smiles change the world. Yes, I think we have a double of this one now. So this one I can actually put up somewhere. That is so cool. We have the Doo -doo -doo -dora, Doo -doo -doo -dora jumbo sticker lot here as well. Magnetic uh, activity set. Ooh. So you have like a random jungle that you let your seven year old go through. And then you can put them in those situations. <laughs> you know Pokemon's been doing that for years, dude. I mean, at least they were 10. 10 yeah. practically, that's still pretty messed up. But they get with Pokemon at least. They get Pokemon to defend them. She just got a monkey in Boots. Boots is the monkey. And Boots has a mean thing. Fury swipe. <laughs> the Ooh. next up. Oh, we don't have this one either. We have the Buzz Lightyear tote bag here. Locking wrist communicator has like all his specs That's on it. That's so cool. That's dope. Whoosh. Oh, helmet <laughs> opening. Whoosh. <laughs> That's the sound that I imagine when I have my shirt on. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a brand new one to the Ooh. collection here. We have the Best Buds of Bikini Bottom. Squidward seems like he's saying otherwise. This is Squidward doing the thing. Yes, Mitchell. Mitchell's looking uh, around. Yeah, I'm just like, that's kind of like off. This is a flipped image of Squidward doing the thing. I don't like it. <laughs> he's doing a thing in the mirrors. <laughs> and then we have the activity dot to dot where you can actually connect it and make your own cover there. <laughs> and you have the dot to dot. Plankton. Who is this without even looking that like, looks who like is... uh, the dolphin guy? I can't remember his name. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is a dolphin. Uh, ooh, that's a good plankton. We have the Napoleon. Oh, that's not Napoleon plankton. That's the pirate plankton. <laughs> Some really cool ones here. Patrick steering the wheel here of a pirate ship, it looks like. Some awesome ones. And a door hanger, too. So much fun. I'm so glad that kids have stuff like this nowadays, like the door hangers and stuff like that. Because I loved this type of stuff as a kid. So amazing setup here. And that's actually it for Terry and Evan's box. Thank you guys again. Again, so much for your kindness for the sweet treats and ultimately you know like I love all the stuff that you guys send so much but if I have to pick my favorite it's always the stuff that you guys build because you guys do such a unique job and like I said it always inspires me as a hopefully one day future father I would love to have a kid one day to where I can you know love show all the stuff that I love to them as well too and I think that's really cool that you guys are able to bond on the different stuff that you guys love whether it be Spongebob this show and especially building stuff and I say that every time we feature you guys but it's truly so inspiring and so beautiful to see. So thank you to Terry, Evan, your wife, your whole family again. Amazing job, incredible work on building everything here. It was a lot of fun to see, really, really sweet. So thank you again. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Shout out again to Terry and Evan. Show them some love in the comments below. Okay, so this one came from Brandon Jackson and this came from Texas. So shout out to you, Brandon. Thank you so much. We got the PO box right there and also a little drawing of a Pokeball there, which is really cute. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Right here. Oh yeah, there's Ash and Pikachu right there too. I wonder if there's some Pokemon related stuff in here or whatnot. And also shout out to your cat, because obviously you have a cat and I'm jealous, okay? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh. Ooh. Speaking of cats. Yeah, I saw a little eyeball. We have Gear Bear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cute. I don't even know how, like, if we have like, but maybe one Gary plushie. We do not have this Thai Beanie Baby Gary though. That is adorable. And that is something that is gonna, you know, like <laughs> I always say not everything can fit in the cavern because this is where we you know the, do the filming the main filming stuff but this has got to find a place it's too small and too cute not to find a place okay the next up oh we have a little uh pokemon pack here nice nice a halloween one we have a cat dog Ooh. somebody definitely loves cats we have a, a two cats here but i think this one gonna replace ours because that one's still brand new with the tag so a nice little update there on that one of course our collection is always about preservation and keeping it in the best form possible so an amazing one to add there and thank you so much and somebody won this at Dave and Buster's and they originally got it Dave and Buster's man you know that was probably like friggin maybe like 3,000 tickets yeah, or something. It was like 5,000 tickets or something don't sleep on Dave and Buster's man they got Nickelodeon <laughs> they got that's the collecting arcade hub <laughs> and we'll probably open this pack up as well let's take a look here there's a letter he said hey Marcus Mitchell Karina first off before anything I wanted to say why didn't you all grab those Pokemon plushies from the video that you got into he said my heart hurts so much seeing you leave those rare guys behind <laughs> lol <laughs> and 
but I, it, going back on it, I was like, ah, we should have grabbed this. So now me and Mitchell, we grab them. We grab them, at least do the research on them before we leave them at the store because we don't want to make that mistake again. We, that's not the first mistake we made. It's not the last mistake we'll make for sure. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will see some stuff in our thrifting videos, uh, flea market videos where you're like, oh, you should have grabbed that bike. That bike's like 10 grand. I know Nickelodeon. I know cartoons. And I, do, I know a lot about Pokemon, but not everything for sure, obviously. Not when it comes to plushes anyway. Not when it comes to plushies, exactly. Secondly, I want to thank you all for these amazing videos. My favorite time of night is watching your videos while I prepare for bed. This isn't much, but I found some stuff from uh, my previous hunts on my channel, plus some personal stuff. I hope you enjoy and can't wait to see more of your videos. I think we need to switch thrift stores because you always seem to find Pokemon stuff and I always find Nickelodeon stuff. Ah, how the world works. <laughs> That's so true. All right, let's see what else we got here. We have an awesome Patrick football plush. Perfect right before Thanksgiving here or right as Thanksgiving comes up. My dad unarguably for sure forced me to watch that this Thanksgiving. Hasn't even happened at the moment of filming this video, but I can guarantee you my dad forced me to watch football at one point. We're all watching Macy Day Parade. Click. All of a sudden we're watching people tackling each other like this. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Patrick hanging out with Gary and also the cat dog. We also have a Zerd here, a Zerd figure. Very cool as well. And of course he has wheels in the bottom because no human can really walk with a robe that long. No. <laughs> Look, the bottom of his robe must be just just filthy. I mean, I think that's why in Lightyear he's a robot because ain't nobody gonna be fighting in a robe like this. Unless they're Darth Maul, I mean, but he took it off, you know, when it got serious. When he got, a, when he got down to it, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Look at this! Adorable what tiny Patrick! <laughs> this is the smallest Patrick ever! It is a Thai Beanie Baby Mini Patrick with, adorable. The, with the little keychain on it. That is so freaking cute. I love that one. Okay, we are definitely gonna be hanging this guy up in the cavern somewhere too. He's gotta fit in somewhere. He's adorable. Then we've got a, if you take a mouse to school, little miniature children's book here. We have a SpongeBob Beanie here as well too. Okay, and then we also have this guy right here. We have this SpongeBob with the bobble, like the googly eyes. Oh, googly eyes yeah. <laughs> and it's so cool because you can make him do the, <laughs> the derpiest thing. Like, look at him just looking at Patrick. Can you imagine you go on a roller coaster and you're just looking at the person behind you like you're having fun? And they're just horrified for the life. <laughs> and the Dutchman is on the car too. That's so sick. He's just looking down now. Just have him looking down to the left. That looks more accurate. There we go. <laughs> but I think it's on the whole book. So there's one. And then <laughs> he looks so derpy. Like he's not even paying attention to what Patrick is saying, clearly. <laughs> I love this. That is uh, oh, a very funny book. I love it. Very perfect for Halloween too. And then also we have some games here too. We have Green Eggs and Ham. And we also have Barbie Magic Princess, which is also what I call Mitchell off camera sometimes. That was totally confidence, Marcus. Way nothing about it. <laughs> and green eggs and ham is what you could probably find in the back of my refrigerator. So in this pack, I actually need some of these cards. So let's see what we get here. I have almost the set complete. I think there's like three or four cards I'm missing that are like commons actually. Okay, so we have Sinistee, Mimikyu, Ooh, what, Hollow. What are the odds of that? <laughs> can't beat that. And a Murkrow. Awesome little set of cards there from the Halloween set. It's like, how did you know there was a Mimikyu in there? I don't know. He had to have like filled it out. He's like, Mimikyu, this is, Marcus needs this one. There's a Gengar in this set too, but this Mimikyu this is his set, so it's nice to see him. Thank you again so much, Brandon. Again, make sure you guys show him some love. Let's check out the next box here. Thank you so much, though. That was awesome. Oh! Dang. Got it. <laughs> this giant box came from Amber Case in Nevada. Shout out to Amber. She is a longtime amazing member of the Rep Pack. R-E-P-P-A-C-K. A lot of people think that I say Rat Pack. Hey, we ain't logic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I just thought rat pack. It's rep pack. Reptar. Re yeah, representative of reptar and also representation being you guys. So the rep pack. Rep pack. Is there a way I can say it more clearly, I think? Rep pack. <laughs> so, just for clarification for some of you guys, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and check this out. So, she's been an amazing member of the Rep Pack for so long and appreciate her so much for all the awesome stuff she's done to attribute to these fan mail videos. Thank you so much, Amber. Much love to you as always. Let's take a look and see what she sent. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> You're not gonna believe so much cool stuff in here. But there's one thing in particular that I needed this so much. It's so freaking cute. I can't, I just, ah. I died from cuteness overload if you wanna know what my ailment was. Here's a little, 
<laughs> I'm grabbing that out first. Look at him! Whoa. Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> what you to look at it? <laughs> look at it! Look at him! He's so cute! We have the Gengar Ooh, here. Paldea Spooky Halloween. From the Paldea Spooky Halloween. Look at the freaking tentacruel here. He's peeking over the side there because the new Paldean tentacruel can walk on land. It is amazing! I saw the tentacruel that was running in the wild. He was like running. I was like, oh my gosh! It's so weird, but amazing. But this Gengar in this outfit is everything. He is so uh, yeah. cute. He's got like sushi on his ear. Right? He's or, got or... like a Japanese like celebration type like outfit on. It's amazing. Like so intricate and beautifully designed too. The robe, the string <laughs> on the rope too. That little hat, his little tassels. And he's so chunky and adorable as always. Ah! Oh! Like aside from Pikachu, a Gengar is such a good one to have dressed up. He's so cute. He's adorable. And it's like his clothes don't fit him. They're so tight and snug because he's so poor. Lump and amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got his little claws hanging out there too. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm the cutest thing ever. I love it so much. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Amber. What is this? What in the world is Holy. this? Holy. Biggest blind bag this is a that, that is the biggest that is a big blind bag this is a really good like stocking stuffer or like wrap it up you know a really cool present this is awesome 20 pieces 20 you're telling me in this bag i have 20 new items to add to the collection which is interesting because it says eight surprises inside on the top that divide into 20. That's amazing. There's probably a lot of stickers. If you look at the back, there's a lot of different stuff. There's a lot of stickers, maybe. Because I don't know how the eight would divide that much, but I do not care. Let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, man, there's so much stuff in here. We have some trimmings. And that's that's your surprise. There's 20 pieces. <laughs> that's all 20 pieces. Put this to the side here for right now. Ooh, it's another bag. Oh, so the surprises are individually surprise packaged with different bags that warn me not to choke on them. They have another thing coming. I'm gonna choke on all of these. Says to keep away from babies and children. And Marcus. All right, I think this is the fingerboards. Look at these little, these are super mini. These are like mega mini skateboards. <laughs> He's got SpongeBob wheels and that one's got Patrick wheels. That is so sweet. Oh, who do I open? Let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> one. You off. think I can do a mini finger kickflip? I don't might know. take a few tries, but you might. We're gonna need you to slow mo this, Ryan. Oh, oh! I mean, that wasn't a kickflip, it was like a nightmare flip, but I think that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That was not easy on this thing, but that is sick. I love it so much. Oh man, I could do that all day. This is so sweet. Okay, so we have the SpongeBob still sealed here, but the Patrick one out for play, which also works for a really cool figure stand. <laughs> Look at him skateboarding. We are riders on a mission, action mission, play condition, rocket power. I don't know what they say after on a mission. Ryan, can you subtitle it? We are riders on a mission, rocket power. <laughs> and that's what actually is said during that part. Okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> what is this? This is a pop em ball. A pop em ball? That's what it said, right? Pop em ball. Oh, that is kind of cool. You pop it and then it re pops out because it's a ball. That is pretty satisfying. I don't see how it's SpongeBob branded, but it's still cool. You don't think that's Dutchman? This is the Dutchman's appendix. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have at least two licensed SpongeBob items added there. This one, I don't think it's licensed, but it is cool still. This one. Ooh, we get these SpongeBob plushies. Super adorable. These SpongeBob by Just Play, I believe, who released these. I can't remember what they're called, but they're, I think they're called Pill Pals. Pod Pals. Pod Pals. That sounds a lot more job friendly than Pill Pals. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pod Pals. Okay, the next up, what do we have here? Oh, no, whoa. they didn't. They re released them again? What? <laughs> We have probably the most reproduced SpongeBob figure line of all time, but at the same time, they do do something different each time to make them slightly different. These ones have a different base. So we have these guys right here, which are very cute. I gotta say, I love it. So at least these ones have a different base. So really cool there. Two brand new ones, and we can count those as brand new because they do have a different base on them as well. They, uh, they should have released a Christmas line now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is hats. That would work. I love this bag though, too. It's just like so fun. I'm going crazy for it now but even as a kid too i would have loved this as an adult i love it even more so this is i have no clue what a shrink dink is 
So what it is is you draw on this and you put it in the oven and apparently it actually shrinks down to a size to where you can actually use it. And you also get a little necklace right here so you could turn the SpongeBob one into a keychain and the Patrick one, once you shrink it, you can actually turn it to a little standee. That is so cool to be able to actually create your own little collectibles there. To be honest, I kind of like the shrinky dink SpongeBob without the shrinking. You can just color it in. Yeah, I kind of like him at this size. But what if like it gets hot one day and then I come back and his arms just shrink dink. And it's just his arm is shrink dink like that. <laughs> it's kind of cool to experiment that, you know? Like have yeah. it in the car and just see if it does. <laughs> yeah, put a shrink dink SpongeBob in the car and see what happens to him. That is cool. Okay. Oh, I know. This is going to be so Sick. Oh, that is awesome. I don't think they've ever made a SpongeBob Slinky this big before. Ah, lasagna and a pizza and spaghetti. That's more. <laughs> it's like an accordion. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a hook around the lens. Hey! <laughs> can you guys see me in there? Come on, I see you. Can you see me? It's a little blurry, but yeah, I can see you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is like what it probably looks like to be born. This is weird, but awesome. Hey! <laughs> that is awesome, man. This is so fun. I know there are SpongeBob Slinkies they've made in the past, but they're always small, like mini Slinkies. That's a good size one, yeah. Yeah, I wish I had stairs, man. Have you ever seen Slinkies go down a stairs? I have, actually. That's one of the best top five wonders of the world. So there we go. <laughs> we have the Patrick Slinkadink. Oh, man, there's a reason why some toys stay around forever. And you could totally see why on this one. All right, what do we have here next? Some molding clay? SpongeBob licensed molding clay? Are you kidding me? That is so dope. Is it, uh, is it yellow or is it pink? Oh, it's yellow. It's a little SpongeBob. Oh, it's SpongeBob. <laughs> what the heck? I gotta open this. I just want the protector. I just want the container itself for the branding of it. We're gonna make a little SpongeBob with this. You watch. <laughs> All right, and there we have it. Naked SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> clay pants. I, I thought he was really cute. He is really cute, but then I realized he was naked. It is kind of weird. Really weird, but it's also awesome. SpongeBob naked pants. SpongeBob nudie pants clay edition. He finally reached the next evolution. I'm thinking about rhinoplasty, and this is really an option I'm considering. Like, think about how much better I'd look. That just couldn't be good if you turn the corner of your door, you try to get inside, you know? Um, well... You gotta consider the, the pros and the cons. Getting on a shirt, taking off said shirt. I still see more pros. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, we are done with the clay. That was awesome. That was an awesome little bag. I could play with that all day. All right, thank you so much for sending all this in, Amber Case. We still got some more stuff in here to check out, but that was just a, a, a whole box of fun. Or a whole bag of fun. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ooh, look at this. Uh, we have a Toy, Toy Story, Story freaking rewind. I think this is the first rewind I've ever opened. Is that true? That's true. That's, That's true. the first rewind I've ever opened because I have not been able to get one of these. This is the Toy Story rewind. If you guys don't know that is it's actually a partnered thing i thought it was with blockbuster it maybe is. it is yeah it's a blockbuster it's partnered with blockbuster but essentially what it is is they actually take the vhs box we all grew up with and they put a little minifigure inside of it as well as a chance of getting a chase so this one is a buzz lightyear one so you can see in the back you have a chance of getting a buzz with the dome and without the domes. The chase is without the dome. But I'll be 100% honest, either one's a win to me. If I get the one without the dome, it's a chase, that's sick. If I get the one with the dome, I think that one actually kinda looks a little cooler. I love characters that have domes on them, it's just sweet. So let's go ahead and check this out. My first ever Funko Rewind to the collection here. Ooh, ooh, the dome one. The that's dome sick. one, okay, okay, that's all good. Like I said, you can get the one with the chase, but to be honest, I feel like it'd be kind of not as cool without the dome. So that is awesome right there you get the domed version of a oh. buzz lightyear right there and you actually get like a blockbuster card you know back in the day you got a blockbuster card oh that thing is like an actual like it's like a solid a card. card wow yeah like a solid actual card so it's definitely got blockbuster vibes written all over it that is just sweet it kind of reminds me of like the playmates figures yeah i do like i kind of like these little designs though they're cool yeah i'm a huge fan of them i mean i don't have a lot of them this is my first one but you know maybe more to come thank you so much and of course we'll be adding this guy to the toy story collection he was just sweet and i I love the clamshell old school of VHS case too. Just an all around nostalgic flow. Like they really encapsulated that perfectly. All right, keeping it going. What do we got here? We have some Pokemon Ooh. packs here. Oh, that's 
That looks like last year's. Yeah, these are the the 2022 Halloween season booster Gengar packs ones. here. Yes, these are so cool. So let's go ahead and open up one of these guys here for sure. See if we can pull something nice for the people. Oh, already. Best Hoenn mythical for sure. We have Ariados and Miss Drevis, my middle school teacher, and Mrs. Drevis. That's <laughs> perfect. Okay, next up here we have ooh. some ooh, some table paper here. Table these, paper? That's what it says, table paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's napkins and as you guys probably already know I do use these napkins I have the funnest napkins in the world if you come to my house I have the coolest napkin collection because I, I can't use them fast enough But I have fun napkins I never ever wipe my face with anything that doesn't have a character on it at this point And this will be added to that roster because it's so sick You have all the different features almost like Andy's bed sheets kind of it's like a little bit of a vibe of yeah. mixing the Buzz Lightyear and Woody vibes oh, really cool Star Command is hat. Yeah, and it's cool that stars kind of work for both space characters and for cowboys. It's like the one thing that they kind of have in common is most sheriff badges, they have that star. Like, you know, Texas is the Lone Star State. You know, that's kind of a thing. And then yet, you know, the stars are in space. Interesting. Yeah, a really cool piece there. So thank you so much. Ooh, look at this. This is sweet. We have freaking silicone molds, but you can use these for ice too. There's a lot of ice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you have lots of there. You got Woody, Jesse, Ham, Buzz and also the alien. I would definitely use this for ice, but you could also use it for jello, cake. You can use it for anything, really. That's the great thing about silicone. It's so transformative. That's awesome and so freaking cute. You can see oh, the characters a little better there, too. And thank you so much for sending this in. You gotta do a strawberry jello and lots of it. Oh, yeah, of course. I was thinking strawberry. I was thinking green apple. I was thinking grape. I'm thinking cherry. I'm thinking lemonade, pink lemonade. And then for Woody, good old Coca-Cola. Yeah, I guess that works out. <laughs> you know, a good old solid brown American drink. Coca-Cola. Amazing. We've got some more napkins, some even cuter Ooh. ones. I love these ones, but these ones are cool. These ones are adorable. Cool, adorable. Cool, adorable. I love it. Dora cool. Dora cool. Ooh, Ooh. Some more. That is so sweet. The glitter trim right there. Oh, and it's got Gabby Gabby on there too. And Duke Kaboom. And it's got Benson's. So this is the Toy Story 4 stuff. And these are all just little sheets of paper that you can either draw on or also write on. I'm running out of notebooks, notepads so fast. Between drawing and also between notes that I take for videos, I blow through notebooks. So this is a perfect one to add into the collection. Adorable as well. And Gabby Gabby is a character that, unlike Lotso, I feel like Lotso, you can, you never really feel bad for Lotso. Gabby Gabby, you find yourself slightly loving her and feeling bad for her towards the end. So I, I do like Gabby Gabby being there. All right here, let's see. Oh, this is a big one, man. We have a Toy Story Whoa. giant four and a half pound weighted blanket. This is so cool, and I this is perfect for winter time. You know how weighted blankets work, right? Sort of, yeah, but not 100%. They make you feel so secure because you put them on and you feel like this weight on top of you. So it makes it, it's more than just being warm. You have like this pressure on you that is just so comforting. So have you ever, have you ever tried a weighted blanket before? You gotta try one. I don't have one anymore. I had one a long time ago, like five years ago, like that was similar to this and got damaged. So this is awesome and perfect for the winter time. And it says playtime and it's got all of the crew on there, including Bo Peep as well. That is so freaking sweet. Feel this thing, man. This is, that is not light. Oh yeah, yeah dang. you saw that his hand shaking. <laughs> that up, that thing is solid. All right, next up here we have a hey, a Woody fig pin. So it's a little fig pin of Woody. It's an interesting art style they did with that one though. Like, I'm not sure exactly where this uh, Disney, derives from. Disney 100. So. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I was looking at the back and I was like, gives me 100 year anniversary vibe. There must be a little line of it then. Yeah. So this is the Disney 100 Woody. That is so cool. And he's as always in fashion. You got a friend in him and he looks like a reliable, awesome dude. So cute. And you have a fun fact that uh, Woody has a holster, but he has no gun. Yeah, that's true. Yep, the all reason right. why is because the man can solve all his problems with his wisdomatic leadership. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he have a lasso? He does have a lasso, but that's for cowboy stuff. Okay, next up here, dude, this one is going to blow your mind. We have the Powerpuff Girls. Ooh by D stage. I've never heard of D stage before, but man, am I going to look out for it in the future? This is a six inch Powerpuff Girls vinyl figure. Let's open this guy up and take a closer look. It's beautiful. 
Look at how dynamic it is. You've got bubbles, buttercup flying around there, but look at the chemical X that's coming out. Like there's like an overall explosion oh, from the chemical X. That must be from the like intro, yeah. When it, that's like, them being created. Breaks, yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's the cauldron right there. So it's the cauldron that the professor was working on them with. He adds in chemical X and boom, the power of girls reborn. Yeah, that's... <laughs> So sick. What the heck? Diorama stage 095, the Powerpuff Girls. The day is saved. And I love the box too, like the clear, the translucent purple, yeah. uh, purple. Oh, and then look, on the side you have some of the professor's beakers here. That's so cool. What the heck? And they're on this side too. And then in the middle there, you've got the professor as well. Yeah, I'm so curious. I was like, what else have they done then? Yeah, man, I'm gonna keep this guy sealed for right now because I want to put this in the collection, but for right now, I just want to make sure it gets in there safely. This is adorably awesome. Oh, and then the Powerpuff Girls logo there in the bottom too. That is just amazing. I love it so much. Thank you so much. It's such a sweet package all the way throughout. As always, Amber, you're amazing. Hey, and there's a letter. It was hidden behind the last box here, which I cannot wait to get out because it's incredible. But now we can see something from Amber. So let's take a look here. So she said she went to Dayzo and she got a lot of the Toy Story stuff as well. So thank you so much, Amber. You're so sweet and we appreciate you so much here in the wrap pack and here at the cavern. And she said, I really love seeing Mitchell's collection. Oh, thank you. Yeah, a lot of people loved that video and it was really cool because we got to learn a little bit more about Mitchell and some of his interests. And I can tell you somebody behind the scenes seeing stuff, his collection is getting crazier. It's getting even more <laughs> cool. He's got some awesome stuff he's added recently and then we'll probably, if Mitchell's okay with it, we'll do an update again soon. Okay, the last item. This thing is wild. We have the Squidward That's... Bubble Ball. What, what is that? <laughs> Wait till you see the Squidward. What the heck is this? I have no clue what this is from. I feel like there's maybe an episode reference from where it's from, but either way, it's so freaking sweet. It's like a hyper-inflated Squidward. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? This is wild. And it has uh, an NFC chip on it too that you can use an Android to add it to your collection. That's so sick. Why does Funko or any other brand not have that where you just put it on your phone and it adds it to your collection? That's incredible. But this is from Nick Asia here and it's made by the Soap Company, Soap Studios. But you can tell it is licensed here. Usually they'll have the badges there. And just looking at it overall, you can see by the quality, this is a licensed product coming from 2022 in China. That is amazing. Let's take a look at it. And there he is, <laughs> the overinflated bubble. So literally Dang. it's like he swallowed a bubble and it's inside of him. And the only thing keeping him from completely becoming rotund and round is his shirt that just cannot keep up with the expansion. Yeah, you can see the, like the ripples in his neck here. Yeah, it's just like yeah. stressing him out. <laughs> and the shirt too, the details are unreal. And then you've got his tentacles here, all six tentacles. And then you can actually have like divots in them like a suction cup, amazing. And I looked into it. There's also a SpongeBob and a Patrick one. Ooh. Yes, I think we need to get those eventually to have the whole set there. And then on the bottom here, you have the NFT. And of course you have, as all licensed products, you have Soap Studios and Steven Hillenberg's signature too. That is brilliant, man. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, please, they turned me into a bubble. <laughs> you know what we should do? Because me and Mitchell have been talking about it for a while, that the table that it's on right now is just like some generic table leg. We've been saying we should get some bookshelves, kind of like the ones that we have the bookshelf on. Something like that, but a little taller and put it on the ends here to where that holds up the table. So we have shelves holding up the tables for even more stuff, more awesome SpongeBob and Nickelodeon stuff. And in those inner shelves, we should only put like stuff like this, like really high quality, like detailed, big size pieces. Just really cool things, yeah. Yeah, just really, really cool stuff like that. Maybe that's some of the other uh, dissectable, like giant Patrick we have out there. Just some of the really cool details detail pieces I think would be a really cool idea but I love how his eye you see, he's literally doing the thing as he's about to implode only Squidward would do this <laughs> <laughs> or explode I mean if you explode outward but it's coming from the inside is it an implosion slash explosion or just an exp I guess it's just an explosion <laughs> I think Amazing. an implosion would go inwards yeah an explosion he's about to explode I love this guy so much thank you so much everything here was so amazing as always you 
you guys in the rep pack have blown us away. Thank you so much for your kindness as always. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys so much and be able to add so many awesome items to the collection. It's truly remarkable. So thank you again to Amber Case. Make sure you show some love to her down below. We have one more box to go. Let's check it out. All right, this one's a big one. Let's go ahead and check it out here. The tape is kind of coming undone because it's so big. This one's from McDonald's and it carried a small McCafe cups. Like a bunch of small McCafe cups were in this. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how you got that box, but okay. I have no clue, but let's check it out. Maybe there's a note. I don't see a note. Maybe there's one in there as we get through it, but as of right now, I don't see it. But already what I see is a McDonald's display for Thor Love and Thunder. That is wild. What the heck? So they must work at McDonald's. Like they have to, right? I mean, it would make sense. So only in theaters, Thor Love and Thunder. That is sick. So you have that display there. What else we got in here? We have a Mario Kart car window cover. Yeah, I guess that's what <laughs> that is. That is sweet. Yeah. Who are you picking in Mario Kart? Go. Oh, Dry Bones. Dry Bones? I go with Toad. He's lightweight. Toad too, yeah. He's lightweight. He's faster. But Dry Bones makes sense. He's lightweight too. Nothing but bones. He's all <laughs> bones. Not even skin. Next up here we have a fast food sign. It says, "Oh, Sonic, Sonic 2, McDonald's only in theaters, Sonic 2 poster. Okay, I'm convinced that he works at yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> Gotta go fast with the kids meal. <laughs> that is sick. So this is for the Sonic movie one or two, I would presume. Sonic 2 movie. That's sick. We have the Disney puzzle set there, which has Toy Story, Cars, and the much lesser known Planes movie. Three <laughs> puzzles in one and they all incrementally get bigger being the the planes one is the biggest weirdly enough but still awesome we have a loot gaming sonic the hedgehog dang poster it looks like Ooh, there we go so we have green run i'm pretty sure this is green run as a map Thanks. Really cool though, 2018 Loot Gaming. So an awesome Sonic poster here. That is dope. And then on the other side is like ads, but I mean, I guess this probably would have come as like a little freebie inside of the Loot Crate box. That's a, that's Except really like I've cool. I've seen this Eggman figure too. Really? That's so cool too. That's awesome, the little tiny little flying drone thing. All those chaos pins are dope too. Oh, there's a note on the bottom here, so let's check it out. I'm a big fan, my first name is Michael. All this stuff in the box is from Loot Crate or McDonald's from House. I say this box is gonna be a lot of fun. I might be in my 20s, but my handwriting is still bad. So shout out to you, Michael, and no worries, my handwriting is probably the same, if not worse. <laughs> so I'm in the same club with you. So let's check this all out. We got a bunch of little stuff here. We have a bunch of little figures and everything here. <laughs> so we have the Eternals right here. The Eternals figure here from McDonald's. Ooh. We have Tonio, his ability is to talk to animals. So you have one of the uh, a squirrel looks like hanging out there with him as well. We have the Nemo here from the uh, Walt Disney World 50th anniversary, the adorable Nemo. We have the Eternals here. We have a Scooby Dooby Doo. Oh, adorable. We still have a sealed Scooby here. We have a Daphne. We have a Velma. And then we've got, oh, we have Thumper from the Bambi series from the Disney here, as well as Pumbaa and Timon. You can't have, you know, there ain't no Makuna Matata without both of them. So we have <laughs> both those guys. And we have another Eternals character. I'm not familiar with the Eternals characters, but it's still cool to see them. And then finally, we have another Encanto one with Miss Perfect Isabella here. I love it. These are so freaking fun. Okay, so thank you so much for sending all of these guys in here. I'll be keeping some of these guys, and some of these I'll have to be giving out to some people in the rep pack. These are so freaking cool. And there's so many of them. So thank you so much, Michael. And we also have this right here. Mitchell said the lesser known sister location of Five Below, Eight Below. <laughs> Everything's eight or more. <laughs> and I haven't seen this movie, but this is with the man, the legend, Paul Walker there. I haven't seen the movie. The only movie I've seen with like ice pups like this is that one with Cub uh, Cuban Gooding Jr. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and I like don't remember what it's thing. called. Yeah, Ryan will put it up on screen, but I'll, maybe I'll check this one out. Thank you. I also have a Teen Titans box here, which these are just kind of cool for display. You have the Teen Ooh. Titans Go one right there. You have the Starfire one, and then you have a Robin Ooh, and Starfire. That one's sick. Yeah, they had like a little share box right there. <laughs> Um, there's a cyborg one with Beast Boy, but no Raven, unfortunately. But either way, still awesome. But but it's still cool to see all of them. They had a bunch of different 
Oh, they had seven. Oh, no, they have eight boxes, apparently, according to this. There's one right here, and seven, eight, five. Yeah, and there's probably some duo ones, and then them individually, I That's would say. Cool. Yeah, I think my favorite one's got to be this one, though, because it's got everybody on it. Second favorite is Starfire and Robin. <laughs> yeah, that one is dope. And I've opened these before. These have coloring books inside of them, I believe. So, yeah, some really giant coloring books. And coolest thing is it comes with some Teen Titans Go pencils. And then we have here a Playhouse Disney Stanley Tiger Tales here on the PC. Do you remember Stanley? He was like the the I mean, little brother of Eliza Thornberry. I just like vaguely remember the like that him and the fish, but I don't really remember watching it. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't know if he could speak to animals. I think he would have like um like he would imagine stuff like kind of like the Rugrats, and he would get in these like imaginative like kind of like um survival exploration like kind yeah. of daydreams. I guess I can't remember it 100 percent either, but it is still really cool to see that as a reminder. We have Nick Jr. Animals and Friends. Field. Sealed, and we also have Root's Best Gift. What is Root's Best Gift? I gotta find out. I feel like, wasn't there a movie here about this? I know there's a Root movie, I think, yeah. He damn took to Eeyore's tail, or he's giving it back. Depends on who. Oh yeah, he did. He says, "I'm sorry, Eeyore. Let me pin your tail back." <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the moment. You know, you're either the villain or the hero in someone's life. It just depends on what moment they saw you. Yeah, true. His best gift, though. The best gift is the feeling you get when you've helped a friend, because giving is the best gift of all. Look at Pooh, he's like, man, this is just one of many barrels I'm gonna be sucking down. But yeah, this is sure. the best gift. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, awesome there. And then yeah, oh, this is a really horrible. yeah, really cool art shot of all the different characters here as well. You got a little young Mitchell here. Christopher Robin. <laughs> <laughs> really cute. And then we also have the Donald's Fantastic Fiesta. Where Donald actually goes to Mexico, which is pretty sweet. And with Dewey, apparently. Yeah, with Dewey, oh, Dewey, Dewey and Louie. Okay. And then the last item here we have Whoa. is a Sonic 2 movie display. Some of the figures are coming out of here because shipping you know, can be rough. But nonetheless, still really cool. You have the different figures from the Sonic movie that's too. Sick. That is really dope. And some of these these figures I'm missing too, so that's really cool just to get them in this way. I, was say, I feel like you, we've seen the Tails one once or twice. I have the Tails one, I have the Knuckles one, but I don't have this Tails one, and I don't have this Sonic. Nor do I have this uh, Sonic either. But still really cool to see here. So thank you so much for sending all of this in, Michael. Amazing job. I think that's it for this particular box. So Thank you again to everybody who submitted here in fan mail. Again, show all these people some love in the comments down below. And never forget, you guys can send mail. It doesn't matter how big or small the package is. We love them all and we appreciate them all. Thank you guys so much for these people in this fan mail or any fan mail in the past or any fan mail in the future. Stay tuned, we're gonna add a couple items here to the collection. But before that, you know the drill. Stand it. Okay, so I have a bunch of the different items labeled here. We're gonna start adding these to the collection. You guys can check them out though here. We got this guy right here labeled to Amber Case. These guys over here, Terry and Evan Hill. And of course, our man Brandon as well. So we're gonna start adding some of the stuff to the collection. Let's go ahead and start off with the plushies. Let's go ahead and put Cat Dog back where he belongs. Okay, so for Cat Dog, we added them right back here. I think they look so cute along with the other Cat Dogs here on the shelf as well. Football star Patrick. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to adjust him a little, but he's up there. We'll put the Beanie Baby Patrick right here next to the original green label plushies for SpongeBob as well. Now we just need that tie SpongeBob freaking clip one. And for Gary, I went ahead and put him on top of SpongeBob's head there. I had to find a place for him. I think he's so adorable. So I wanted to find some place. I think that works perfect. Okay, and I put the Squidward Bubble Ball right here next to our wheel. So we're gonna have these guys here and maybe if we get some other ones, we can stack them up. But for right now, I'm gonna leave them in the box. If anything, maybe one day we'll put some of these high quality figures right here on top of our uh, SpongeBob play mat. All right, and then for this guy, so whenever Mitchell looks up inside <laughs> the cavern, he will know. Hey Marcus, are you ready? Just look up, Mitchell. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Inevitably, I will probably hit my head on this, look up at it, and then see that. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll show you this one. Smiles change the world, Mitchell. Turn that frown of pain upside down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Daisy, I went ahead and added up right here next to Tom Kenny. That's where she's gonna go for right now until my mom inevitably might steal that from me. <laughs> but, but thank you so much, Terry and Evan. All right, so we got Patrick on the SpongeBob. 
SpongeBob skateboard, and we got SpongeBob looking chill as all shell on the Patrick skateboard as well. So I think it's a cool little duo there. I love those little skateboards. I I was gonna keep the SpongeBob one sealed, but honestly, just to have them as writables for the characters, I think is really cool. Okay, so for the SpongeBob pencil holder, I actually could use this in here for all the different markers and stuff. We have a few of these, but since this one's accessible and not in the vault right now, I'm gonna turn this one to the one we use for all the signings we do on whatnot, drawing pencils, anything we need here around the cavern, green markers, the label markers. We kind of use markers a lot, so this is gonna be perfect for that. And that's gonna go in the filing cabinet. Okay, so our new activity book will be going with all of our activity books here, of course. And for the Halloween Haunted Carnival, I really love this book. I'm probably gonna put this on display if I end up remembering to do that when it comes to Halloween, but for right now, let's add it to the shelf. Boom! Yeah, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't see that coming. So we have the slinky here. I've been juking people out all day with the slinky. As if it hasn't been going on for like the last four days. <laughs> yeah, but we have these guys right here. These will be staying in my kitchen. These guys, I probably will use as ice molds, and these napkins will probably get used up within a week or two here, but it'll be a very fun week or two. Thank you again to Amber. And the notebook, that'll get used up very, very quickly as well. Okay, there we have him. We got Buzz here with his VHS behind him. We actually have the original VHS right here too as well. But we have that one right there to go with the actual figure. Okay, so we're finally starting to be able to fill in these shelves here. So I actually got the Powerpuff Girls in here as well. I think that statue looks awesome. I want to keep it in the box to make sure it's, you know, nice and safe. But man, is it freaking sweet. But Yogi is out of the shelf for now. You've stolen your last pick-a-dick basket. Okay, and for Gengar, he is on the Gengar shelf. Dude, that looks so damn clean. <laughs> he is adorable. The whole shelf looks freaking awesome, but that was just such a perfect little accent piece into this shelf. Uh, you know, we get slow little additions onto the Gengar stuff here, but that's what makes him so awesome, is he's not quite, you know, as mass-produced as Pikachu, so when you get something for him, it's really special. And, of course, we added these SpongeBob foods into the SpongeBob food and also other Nickelodeon archive here. Alright, so that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack that like button subscribe if you're new here and make sure you guys show some love again down below to all the people that participated in this fan mail we cannot cannot do these without these people so make sure you show them some love for these videos being possible it's some of your guys's favorite series and it really has nothing to do with me i'm just here ever grateful and excited to see what you guys sent in so show them some love and if you guys are ever interested in sending anything in the address is on screen and as always you never have to send anything to this extent just a letter fan art whatever you want we check it out and we get to read it and it makes our freaking week our day our year so that address will be on screen and if you want to support the show further we do have a patreon where you can join for only two dollars now two dollars a month to be able to get an extended version of this video along with every other video that we upload sometimes being 10 to 20 to 30 minutes longer than the original video of extra content it's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons there's also some other tiers as well too with some additional perks you can check all that out in the description down below a huge shout out to the big patreons of the month in the rep pack royalty shout out to taz watsky shout out to storm x quick shout out to list of legends shout out to prismatic phantom yanis torres it's big little kevin Nguyen. later a castle real queen g gabriella and also Don the Whale. Thank you guys so much for making everything that we do here possible. We appreciate you guys and have so much love for everything you guys do. And also don't forget we are on Whatnot every single Friday where we're doing giveaways, including you might see a little certain Yogi Bear get given away maybe over on Whatnot as well. So if you guys wanna be a part of all that stuff, go sign up and you get $15 for free to buy any of the collectibles that we love on this show. They have all types of stuff, Funko Pops, trading cards, video games, you name it. It's probably Probably up there and you get a discount or something for free when you sign up and I'll see you guys in this video right here that I know you're gonna love and as always rep pack I'll see you beautiful people in the next one adios and bloop.